door swinging back. We, I'm just showing you guys a sort of pre-competition mm. vlog because I'm going to be vlogging uh, tomorrow, which is the one day event. Uh, so I'm just packing the lorry, tidying up, cleaning everything. Uh, Sam's actually asleep in bed, so I thought I'd do it. He's not been feeling very well, so I thought I'd do it quickly. So I haven't mucked out the lorry yet, but um, I'll show you everything so up there we've got all the cross-country boots uh buckets sponges everything like that that we're gonna need for tomorrow um in terms of cross-country and then washing off afterwards uh we've got spare kit in here my hat's in here a lunge line because she can be a bit bit naughty to loads uh and then the bridles so this is actually my um dressage bit uh, we have been trying her in a straight bar just so she like takes the contact a bit more because we think this might be a bit too too severe for her and she's very light in the hand but I don't really want to change it before competition um, and then I've got my uh, jumping bit there which is just a universal of D-rings I find she goes so much better in D-rings she's a bit of a fussy fussy with her head so the D-rings just help I guess balance out the pole pressure because um, it's half snaffle pressure as well so we've got my saddle, uh, my boots, and then a bucket full of grooming kits and everything like that. And um, in there we've got whips and everything. In the cab we've got my jacket, um, my bib, stock. I've also bought some towels because it's meant to be really wet tomorrow, which I'm not really happy about. Got a chair up in the Luton, so up there with numbers and chairs. Um, got some money, got some water, got a couple apples. So that's it really, just just kind of chilling on the driveway. Uh, couldn't get the lorry up last night, a bit wet. Didn't want to risk it, so I thought well, I'll just leave it down here anyway. Um, that's it really. So, uh, let's see the lorry. So, uh, walking around the back of the house, gonna go fill up a hay net. Oh, I've got a ball to go take Lady with me as well and get some water. Um, so yeah. Go on then. So, welcome back to my vlog. This is the competition vlog. We're off to South Cops today, uh, up near Winkley in West Devon. Uh, we've just turned off of the dual carriageway. We have Sam filming, and Una right. in the back, and Sam's bike, so he can come along. I'm driving, so therefore I can't look at the camera too much, and I'll get Sam to drive back so I can give you all an update on how it went, and Sam will be vlogging throughout all three phases as well, and taking lots of pictures. Um, Una's plaited and washed in the back, uh, I didn't get any vlog of that yesterday because my phone died, and I couldn't be bothered, if I'm being honest, to walk down and get a charger. Uh, so she's all ready, all clean. And I don't know what time it is now, probably about 9 o'clock. Uh, we should be there shortly. So yeah, we're following a trailer in front. I've just gone through my test with Sam twice. Uh, he was making sure I was very accurate for the markers so I don't lose points. And we need to walk the cross country course, so I'll vlog that as well. Probably open up the lorry, let Una see everything. And then we will walk the cross country course with a cup of tea. Walking the course, fence number one, lovely. Fence number two over here. For some reason, they're not checking um, hats or passports, so we brought mine along for the ride anyway. Six, which looks like it's dropped to a barrel roll top. Five. We came actually the other day, as some of you may have looked on my Instagram, and jumped it also, it's pretty good. And I was just telling Sam, because he asked what the, the goal was. <laughs> the goal is, and I think it's everybody's goal, is sub 30 dressage for double clear. But considering it's my first one of the season, um, we're, we're just going to aim to complete. However, sub 30 double clear would be 
Um, the only thing I say to Sam is, I actually don't have any studs. Now she hasn't got any shoes behind, so it may work in our favour. She's very, very careful and nimble on her feet anyway. So I am just going to take it slow. Um, the ground is fine. It's a little on the hard side, but she does run quite well on hard ground. So hopefully we'll be okay. This is just the drop. Probably bring her back into trot for the drop. me to hold it up so I wasn't looking down my nose and I didn't have a double chin <laughs> but here we are Sam sat in the lorry waiting I'm just charging his phone so here we go Una Puna it's looking pretty clean hey girl all plaited all nice on her toes hey just about to go and do dressage uh, and Sam will video it and then we can see how we can go. <laughs>
dressage. Uh, I thought it was a beautiful test. Um, my walk needed some, my free walk needed some doing, but I've known that for years. Um, trot, she kept in a beautiful rhythm. We've worked so much on my right like, bend that it was actually really nice. Transitions were beautiful. Um, so yeah, I was really pleased. Hopefully the mark. something so um, no footage unfortunately of that it was a nice course she got better as the course went on but she was so excited uh, we got clear and so far we've had a 31 dressage so better kick on cross country <laughs> Couldn't be more proud and so happy. Yeah. 